So tell me a little about yourself, where yeah. you're from, where you grew up, yeah. where you came from, all that. Well, I'm from the Bay Area, Alameda, which is approximately maybe an hour away from here. So not too far, you know, especially when I go home on the weekends or whatnot. Um, I always have a lot of family at the game. You know, this is always a good thing. And, uh, you know, my journey here is kind of an interesting one. You know, in high school, it's funny, I never even, like, knew UC Davis had a football team, you know. And uh, to be so honest, I tell everyone in this, you know, it was never really in my plan, you know, to kind of come here, right? So and when they offered me, I was kind of like, in the back of my head, like, oh, that's cool, you know what I mean? But, you know, we'll see what happens, right? So, uh, you know, time went on, and I ended up not getting any other offers, really, that I, that I wanted. So I had two options. I said, uh, should I go JC or should I just take it out and uh, try UC Davis? And my heart was telling me to come to Davis the whole time. You know, back then who recruited me was Coach Gold and uh, Coach McCann, the receiver coach. And those guys are awesome, two awesome dudes. And uh, I wanted to play for them. And so I ended up coming here. And, uh, you know, I got to start as a, a true freshman, which was really nice. And then ended up getting hurt my sophomore year and had a red shirt. And um, obviously with the new coaching change and everything. and. You know, I can't say enough good things about both coaching staffs. You know, they're both great. Um, they handle things differently, like in their own ways, but they're both, I feel like, great in my opinion. Um, it's been a fun ride, though, you know, and uh, it's finally nice to see kind of that we're taking off and what we need to do. And uh, this year has kind of been a, like a collection of hard work and effort put in by every member of this organization for the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to be a part of it and see how far we can take it the rest of this year. Obviously, you're not done yet, but this yeah. is kind of a dream senior season, right? I couldn't play it any better than it is. So it has been a good one, and it's been fun. What's just been the, the feeling in the locker room and on campus this whole yeah. year with all the success? It's excitement. You know, it's, um, for the most part, it's new territory for a lot of us, right? So it's just living in the moment. You know, you don't want to look days ahead. You don't want to dwell on the past. It's just living in the moment and, uh, you know, having fun. And how can you improve and get better each and every single day? And so that's what we try to do. And uh, for the most part, it's been working, so. And uh, when you finally got that seating yesterday, I mean, yeah. what is that like? It was relieving, you know, it felt nice, you know, because uh, just all your hard work put it into the season and you finally get to see it displayed, especially on national television, right, ESPN2. So it was, it was a cool thing to watch, but we're not done yet. And we know we're just getting started if we really want to take it to where we want to go, so. Well, people might not have known about UC Davis football, but they probably might have known about you going into the <laughs> season. Uh, just. Tell us about what you've been able to accomplish mm -hmm. and I mean, going from getting one offer yeah. to being a Walter Payton right. finalist. Well, the, the first thing is it never is just me. You know, um, I have the best quarterback in the nation. As you guys know, Jake Mir. I have a great O-line, I have great running backs. And uh, most of all, I have great coaches. You know, they put me in the right position to make plays and whatnot. And I tell everyone this, it's easy for me to go out there and just catch footballs. You know, it's hard to do a lot of the other things, right, that, uh, that allowed me to do that. So at the end of the day, it's just, for me, it's just working hard and trying to be the best version of myself that I can be. And, uh, you know, one of my goals here was just when I came here, I wanted to be the best player that I could possibly be, you know. And I, I, I didn't know, obviously, um, the ceiling on that or whatnot. But I just wanted to come out here and prove to myself kind of my whole mindset that I should be playing in a Power Five conference. And uh, I want to make sure people know that by the time I leave UC Davis. So that's been my mindset and my goal the whole time. It hasn't changed and won't ever change. Um, so. Yeah, it's been fun, but you know, yeah. I don't know how much you were listening to Coach Hawk over there getting fired <laughs> up, but just to hear all those things he has to say about you as a person, mm -hmm. as a player, as a teammate, I mean, how does that feel? I mean, it's, it's, it's an honor, you know, um, especially come from Coach Hawk, you know, that guy's great. And, uh, you know, if I can make him proud, that, that, feels, that feels great to me because, you know, that's one thing, you know, your head coach is proud of you. That's a, that's a tremendous uh, accomplishment, in my opinion. So. You know, I, I can't say enough good things about Coach Hawk and just hearing those words is actually nice. And that's just kind of how I was raised, you know what I mean? Just try to respect others, how you want to be respected no matter what. You know what I mean? I always told myself, treat the janitor how you want to treat the CEO. So it's kind of how I live and kind of how I go day by day about things. That's great. Yeah. Um, doing a little research, I understand that you've overcome not just adversity with injuries, mm -hmm. but in personal loss and obviously mm -hmm. with the everything going on in Butte County. Mm -hmm. I, I know that you probably relate to some of these kids. Oh, yeah. Lost yeah. Everything. Yeah, well, back in high school, you know, my senior year, uh, this guy in my apartment, he had, I don't know what he was doing, but <laughs> he decided uh, to burn down the apartment, uh, apartment complex. And uh, not the time I was living there, but we got to get a chance. So we went to a hotel, you know, and it's just, uh, it's unfortunate, right? But uh, that's life, you know, it's unexpected. So as soon as we found out, you know, we went to the hotel, we got adjusted to it. And, uh, you know, we're able to get through it. But, you know, especially 
with the fires and whatnot going around here in NorCal, you know, I definitely feel for all the people affected by it, you know, it's never, it's never a good thing, you know, and uh, if anything, hopefully this makes a lot of people stronger from it and know that there is a better day, you know, past the one that they're experiencing and, uh, you know, hopefully just move along from it. But I know it's hard and I feel for them as much as, you know. I don't know how much you're willing to share just about what that experience is like. I mean, yeah. so young. No, it's fine, yeah. I mean, I, was, I mean, I was around, I think it was my junior, senior year of high school. Um, you know, the type, the type of person I am, you know, I just kind of, uh, kind of wanted to get through it, I guess you could say, right? Um, I don't really want to have people feel sorry for me, you know what I mean? And I understand, like, my mom, I was with my mom, so she was going through it a lot, too. So I just tried to be strong, you know what I mean? And um, kind of just handle, handle the, my business day in and day out. But, you know, it's weird because it's like, it happens, you're kind of in shock, like, okay, well, now what are we going to do, right? I mean, ended up losing a lot of our stuff in there, but it's how you respond to that. And you can either go two paths, you know? You can either go down, you could dwell on it, right? Or, you know, you kind of just get back and, you know, res respond to it in a positive way. So. That's what I tried to focus on, and um, for the most part, you know, I felt like I accomplished that. So. And just to look at your journey to see where you've come, and now we're talking and mm -hmm. looking ahead to the NFL draft, yeah. and potentially the combine. I mean, when you just think of where you've come from to yeah. this moment, what's that like for you? I mean, it's awesome, right? Uh, the funny thing is, like, I had these goals, like I was telling you, like, since I was in high school. Right, so I, I didn't, I didn't care where I played or where I went. I just wanted to prove to everybody that I am a top caliber player no matter the, circ the circumstance, you know, and I got the opportunity here at UC Davis to feel like I showed that, to show that, and obviously, like I said, a great coaching staff and great players around me, you know, I can never do this by myself, and I would never say that, you know, and um, it's been a fun ride, you know, but I know that I can improve each and every single day, and I'm never, I'm never satisfied, you know, never satisfied. I feel like that's the one area that people start, you know, kind of say falling off, you know, because they get complacent, right? We well, accomplished all this, so now you don't have to work as hard. But it, that's the exact opposite for me. I want to keep working hard so I can accomplish new heights that I haven't really even thought of. So, you know, it's been a fun ride, and uh, just keeping it going. Yeah. What was that decision like last spring when you decided to come back? Well, you know, it was a tough one. Um, I had a couple options. I could have, could have obviously went to the NFL or whatnot, and I could have actually graduated and transferred uh, to a couple places. So. You know, after sitting down with my family and really considering it myself, talked to Coach Hogg and Coach Plow and everybody, and after really thinking about it, you know, I thought coming back to UC Davis for my last year would have been the best opportunity for me. One, like I tell everybody, is to help this program get back to, to where it needs to be, and uh, so far we accomplished some of that this year, and, uh, you know, I wanted to come back and improve on my game as well, some of the areas that I wanted to focus on, and I feel like I've done that as well. So, you know, there's, uh, there's pros and cons for both situations, and I decided that coming back would be the, the right fit ultimately for me so I mean I, I know you got a lot of time between now and April but mm -hmm. I mean when you look ahead to that yeah. you know dream potentially becoming a right. reality I mean how do you right well it? you know it it's not as hard as people I guess think right so I just I just try to take it day by day and uh, I don't really look in the future too much but I do realize once the season comes to an a comes to an end, I, I'll have to transition, right, straight uh, straight into whether it's training, you know, whether I get potential all-star invites after. I just have to be ready for that, and, uh, you know, I will be, you know, I'm just uh, trying to focus day by day, but when the time comes, I'll be ready and uh, see, how, see what I can do from there, so. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys have a banner like this up at the football field, <laughs> but I assume you'll probably be on it. I mean, hey, that would be a great honor to do so, so. I guess we'll see. <laughs> what are some things about Keelan Doss that people might not know? you have any other talents, played any other sports? I, mean, I played basketball back in high school for a little bit, you know. Uh, yeah, I wasn't the best shooter, you know. I feel like that's what kind of, you know, didn't, didn't help me with my success there. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, mean, I played basketball, you know. I, I don't know. I, I can't, can't really think too much, I guess you could say. But singing, acting. Well, that's funny because my dad actually was a rapper back in the day. Yeah, he was a rapper, but I didn't really get that ability to, <laughs> at least I never really tried, so I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, you could try right now. <laughs> Spit a little freestyle real quick. Yeah, no. real quick. <laughs> uh, we'll put a beat over it. Uh, is, are you an only child? Uh, yes, my mom and my dad are only child, yeah. I have a lot, uh, a lot of stepbrothers and sisters, so, so yeah. Looking ahead to December 1st, I mean, what yeah. are you anticipating? What's the vibe been like on campus with fans, along? Yeah, it's it's crazy. You win a couple games and people start recognizing you guys, right? <laughs> Went downtown, you know, and people were like, hey, man, football team? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. And they're like, hey, good grass on the season and everything. And it's just funny, man, because I haven't really, you know, witnessed that here before, especially in the past. So 
just going around downtown, people are really more engaged, obviously, with the, the football team. And that just shows that, you know, start winning, you know, get this thing rolling, so. Is there anything else you want people to know about Keelan Doss, UC Davis, your future, everything you've done here? No, uh, uh, not really, you know, I'll let, that, I'll let others speak for me, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, hope you guys all come to our home playoff game, whoever's watching this. Uh, hopefully you guys all come and see what the ads are about, and hopefully we get a sellout, so. How do you hope people remember you? I want people to remember me as a guy that was selfless, um, hardworking, and uh, just ready to give it all for the team, you know, no matter what. And you can look at the numbers, and you can look at, you know, potentially anything you want to look at, right? That stands out to people. But at the end of the day, I want to be remembered for how hard I worked, and you know, just being the guy that really cared for other people, you know, and. Just a good, I guess you say a good person, you know, because a lot of guys, you know, they, they could get big time or whatever, they could go two routes, right? You could either be, I'm too good for everybody, or you could be like, well, I was just right there, so how does that make me any different, right? So at the end of the day, it's just me treating other people uh, the way I want to be treated, like I said, and just, you know, living life like that, so.